Repair classifications. So PTS has a question about this. It says your reference is AC1052 and it says it's applicable for senior and master rigger applicants. So you should both get prepared for this. Objective to determine that the applicant exhibits knowledge of repair classifications by describing one, what constitutes a major repair, two, three examples of major repairs, three, who may perform major repairs, and four, what data is used to make a repair. Awesome. So let's go to uh, AC1052, the reference they offered us, and see what it has to say. And it says, parachute repairs. A, major repair. A major repair, as defined in section 101, is a repair that, if improperly done, might appreciably affect airworthiness. B, a minor repair is a repair other than a major repair. Got to be my favorite definition. C, major or minor repair determination. When there is a question about whether a particular repair is major or minor, follow the manufacturer's instructions. In the absence of the manufacturer's instructions, riggers should use the FAA Parachute Riggers Handbook and Pointer's Parachute Manual as a guide. If the procedure calls for a master rigger, it should be considered a major repair. If the procedure allows for a senior rigger, it should be considered a minor repair. The same kind of repair may be classified as major or minor depending on size or proximity to key structural components. For example, a basic patch may be a minor repair if it is small and away from seams, but may be a major repair if it's large or adjacent to a seam. Two, the same kind of repair may be classed as a major or minor depending on whether it is done to an approved or an unapproved component. For example, replacement of a suspension line on a reserve canopy is usually a major repair, while replacement of a suspension line on a main canopy is generally considered a minor repair, even if the identical technique is required for both replacements. If an operation results in an approved configuration, the operation is considered a repair. For example, if a parachute system is approved with and without an RSL, then removing or replacing RSL components is a repair that may be major or minor, depending on whether, if improperly done, it might appreciably affect airworthiness. Similarly, resizing a harness, when the original design permits a range of sizes, is a repair when the resized harness remains within the permitted range. Four, only an appropriately rated master rigger or a manufacturer of approved parachute components may make major repairs. The manufacturer may designate certain repairs to be done only by the manufacturer or the manufacturer's designees. Great. So let's go back to the questions. It said, what constitutes a major repair? And the FAA said a major repair is defined as a repair that if improperly done, it might appreciably affect airworthiness. Great. It said give three examples of major repairs. Now, generally you want to think big if you want a major repair. So think about replacement of a leg strap or replacement of a chest strap um, or let me see replacement of a hardware fitting where sewing is required required that is to say disassembly and reassembly of some of the webbing portions um, they said that replacement of suspension lines on reserves are mostly um, major repairs also large patches that go into seams um, or replacement of panels, for instance. So we've got lots of examples we can use there. Question three, who may perform major repairs? Well, they specified that that would be a master rigger or a manufacturer of approved components. What data is used to make a repair? They didn't talk about this. The answer to what data is approved data. Now, what would make it approved? Well, typically when the manufacturer designs their parachute, they 
give the information by which it's going to be produced to the FAA, and the FAA approve that data. Now, how we obtain it typically is empirically, so we observe it. So when we get our Sunpath Javelin in, we take a look at what webbing it was made from, or how many stitches per inch were used, or what size of thread were used, or what type of fabric was used to make the container, for instance, or for that matter, what size of grommet was in it. So all of those things allow us to generate our own approved data simply empirically by observing it. Although clearly you can contact the manufacturer and uh, receive data from them.